sports, man. We got AB back I got, in the league. I now. got too many. Yeah, I got too many. Maybe they say the Bucks are the favorites out the NFC, huh? I I've said that before the season. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be Steelers Bucks, uh, and it seems like it's more likely now. Uh, I guess if that's how they want to go down, as opposed to losing in the divisional or the conference <laughs> game. So be it. If they want the Steelers to beat them in the Super Bowl, that's fine. That is fine. They've increased those chances, adding AB, and uh, just just in general, though. I mean. I think it's a good move for him. It was a good move for the Bucs. It's kind of like a no-brainer on both sides. Like him and Brady have that connection. Uh, yeah, the receivers were low in terms of what they paid for him. Um, was it one mil base salary incentives up to two point five? But I mean, this is a guy who was getting close to twenty mil. You know what I mean? So, so to get him for one million, whew, you, know gonna, you know he's going. You know he's going to be motivated. Yeah, uh, their team's completely stacked right now. Their defense is good. Mm-hmm. Brady's been coming on strong. So, yeah, I, I do think they're the favorites in the NFC. So, Steelers, Bucks, Super Bowl, Steelers win. A lot of storylines, dude. A lot of storylines. But, yeah, I, in general, I think it's a good move for both sides, yeah. All right. What are, you got any more hot topics, man? What you, what you, well, you don't you don't have much of them. Is that all you got? Oh, I mean, I was cool. I mean, I think, AB, <laughs> I, I think it's a good move for him. It's going to be, I guess we'll know how good it will be as this thing progresses. Obviously, Bruce Arians has changed his tone a little bit. In terms of how he views AB, I think he said that he had a fantastic first day of practice as well. So we'll just see how that thing plays out. If AB can stay in line and, and do what he's supposed to do, yeah, AB is AB for a reason. I mean, he's legit their best receiver if he is who he is. The biggest question, though, is mentally, can he keep it going? I mean, because that was the thing that derailed him. It was not I mean, we never saw him on the field and said, AB's lost it. We never said that in Pittsburgh, not in Oakland, nor in New England. The biggest thing we said was A.B. mentally is getting in his own way with some of the off the field stuff. So as long as he can put that stuff to bed, I think that he'll be fine there. I think he'll thrive there. And obviously him and Brady have a mutual respect because of that six round love. And shout out to all the six rounders out there. <laughs> <laughs> but they just have that that crazy dog about just being underdogs and having to work to prove it and constantly show that they belong, that they have to earn everything, nothing given to them. They have that connection, that rapport. And I, I think that, man, A.B., if he, if Brady and him can just stay on the same page, and like I said, A.B. just mentally stays where he needs to be, yeah, he's going to light it up down there, man, because they have too many weapons, and he doesn't have to be the feature there either. That's the, another thing that's crazy. Here in Pittsburgh, he was the feature. Once he became A.B., he was the feature always. Down there between Mike Evans, God, like, what are I they going to do? They're going to be putting him you in the slot so now? You so many, yeah, and, and they talked about that, which he is more than capable of doing. In fact, I, as a defense, I hate to see him in the slot. I, I'd rather he be outside because from a coverage standpoint, it's a lot easier to do certain things to number one receivers that are, or, or receivers that are on the edge versus when you get guys in the slot, which is why you see Juju in the slot a lot, Deontay in the slot, like, it's just tough to do certain things from a coverage standpoint when you have those guys playing on the inside. So for AB, man, this could be a great situation, man. 